it's that season again. Whether you like it or not, it's time to go back to school and it's time to hit the books. In style, of course. <laughs> so today we're going to go back to the basics. Basics as in your 1, 2, 3s, your ABCs, your OMGs, your LOLs, um, yeah. Let's talk about the four basic pieces that we all need. So basic that you can mash them all up and wear them in 15 different ways. Our first basic is an oversized sweater dress. Why? It's a great transitional piece for the summer into the fall. You can wear it on its own and it's the perfect layering piece. You guys know how much I love my layering. Which brings me to our second basic, a denim button up. Just layer the chambray top over your oversized sweater dress and roll up them sleeves. Denim chambray tops are great transitional pieces because they are very lightweight and they are also great for layering for those hot but not so hot but about to become cold soon type of weather. Okay, for this next look, all you gotta do is button up your chambray all the way to the tippy tippy top. And a crossbody purse to complete this preppy look and now you look like you're ready to hit the books. I don't know why, but whenever I button up my collar all the way to the top, I feel slightly smarter. I guess dress accordingly and you shall become. <laughs> Whether you're going from work to school or from school to work, fold your denim shirt under right above your waistline, take a thicker belt and wrap it around your waist. Now the sweater dress looks more like a high-waisted sweater skirt. This is perfect for all you girls that have a job after class. Go make that money. For this next look, take it all off. Well, not all off, but just unbutton your top and tie the ends together. Now here's the third basic. Every girl has got to have a classic blazer. Layer that blazer on top of your denim shirt, fold the sleeves out, and now we have a classic layered look. All three of these basics are great pieces to layer on top of one another. Or if you're not feeling the layers, then I don't like you. I'm just kidding. You can simply take off the denim button up and just layer the blazer on top of the sweater dress. So simple yet oh so sophisticated. Okay, so here is the last basic, a pair of khaki shorts. Make sure your short length is appropriate for school. Now the sweater dress doesn't even look like a dress anymore, it just looks like a top. This is a great look, especially if you're already in school, but it's still super duper hot. Alrighty now, so just layer that chambray shirt again over your top and roll up your sleeves. Sporty yet still super appropriate for class, right? Now this is how I would run around campus if I were to be a student again. Oh, the good old days. Sigh. Let's bring back the blazer here again. Layer it on top of your layers, roll up the sleeves, pop the collar, and you're good to go. Or just button the denim top all the way up again, tuck it all in, and now you're preppy yet sporty. Two in one. Or, if you're getting a little too hot in your blazer, just take that baby off, roll up the sleeves. Similar look as before, just one less layer. Instead this time, we're going to take the sweater and pull it on top of the chambray button up. Tuck it all in, and now the collar is the statement piece and the denim is slightly peeking out. Now untuck all those layers and let that denim shirt loose and just hang it out on top. Since the sweater dress is slightly longer, I just tucked it under so it looks more like a regular sweater instead of a dress. Now take that sweater dress and just roll it out to the original form back into the sweater dress. The only difference now is that the denim button-up is layered underneath so it looks slightly preppier than wearing the dress on its own. And for the last look, just grab that basic blazer again, roll up the sleeves and let the collar peek out on the top of the blazer. Love how the collar look like it's a part of the dress. And this is another great look to go from campus to your job after class. In fashion, learning your basics is as important as learning your ABCs. Once you get your basics down, you can mix and match to create many different outfits with the same letters. I mean, with the same pieces. So, learn your ABCs, learn how to mix and match, 
and learn how to spell S T A Y C H I C. Stay chic.